Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your mouse cursor will not move to a second monitor on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what you want to do is tap the Windows key and the P key combination on your keyboard at the same time. So again, Windows and P. So again, Windows and the P key. Then you want to select the Extend option, so go ahead and select Extend. And then if you have multiple monitors on here, it should be able to be visible on the next page. Again, if it's still not working right, you might just want to do Control-P again and select PC screen only. Again, different options there. I'm only on a single screen on this virtual environment, so that's why. But regardless, that's just one thing to take a look at. Something else you want to try as well, perhaps your display monitor is set higher than your other monitor, meaning it might not be right next to each other, at least that's what Windows might be thinking. So if you're trying to resolve that, you may want to go underneath the search menu and type in settings, best match, or come back with settings, go ahead and open that up. And then I'm going to just make this window a little bit wider here. And we're going to select the system item on the left side. And then go and select the display on the right. Now that we're underneath display, if you had multiple monitors on your computer, you would go down and see where it says select the display to change the settings for it. So you might have to go underneath advanced display here. And then there would be two different numbers. It would be like a 1 and a 2. You might have to drag those windows around a little bit in order to make it fit properly so that it's stacked close to where your mouse is. So that could be potentially throwing the orientation off a little bit. So just might want to keep that in mind. But if we go back to display here and then underneath multiple displays and expand that, you want to make sure, remember Windows locations based on monitor connection is checkmarked. Minimize windows when monitor is disconnected. And there may be an additional option to ease cursor movement between displays you would want to check mark that option, that third option especially, and then you would just be able to go ahead and close out of here. And once again, hopefully that's resolved the problem. Just disconnecting and reconnecting that problematic monitor could be the issue as well, as well as if there's any new drivers available for the manufacturer of said monitor, you might want to look into it on the internet, see if they have any new driver packages available, and then install them on your computer. So. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.